This is Russell Westbrook in October of 2016, his record-breaking MVP season. You know, the one where he led the league in scoring, broke the record for the most triple doubles in a season, and solidified his spot as a certified superstar. And here is his matchup on that night. A relatively unknown 17-year-old Luka Doncic. Now, Luka was far from your ordinary 17-year-old hooper. He was already a 6 foot 6 inch international champion on an accelerated path to the NBA. But Luka had never seen anyone quite like Westbrook. In just 18 minutes, Westbrook goes for 18, 3, and 4. Luka, on the other hand, didn't do so well. A tough matchup for a kid who was still trying to earn minutes. But just a couple years later, the same kid who was outmatched by Westbrook would give the former MVP and his team one of the toughest nights of his entire career. After facing the toughest matchup of his young career, Luka put together one of the most impressive 18-month stretches in European basketball history. In just a year and a half, Doncic earned a Liga ACB MVP, two Liga ACB championships, two EuroLeague Rising Star awards, all EuroLeague first team, EuroLeague MVP, and became a EuroLeague champion. And at this point, it was safe to say that the frail 17-year-old from 2016 had become arguably the best NBA prospect in the entire world. Unfortunately for Westbrook, he had to find this out the hard way. 14 and 3. Going at baseline. Luca. Oh, and I mean, think about it when you call your own foul. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, there you go. Luca with the fancy handles and shooting another step back. Oh. Turnovers committed by Dallas. There's Luca on the bounce. Got past George. Got for the Thunder on threes in this game. Luca. Cleveland, by the way, is going out of the game. And Please, but nice. nice oh, man. JJ the pass. Luka. Finds Luca Westbrook up on him into the shot clock. Pump fake. Three pointer. Yes, sir. Just two years after their first meeting, Luka Doncic gives Russ 25 and 7 in a comeback victory against the Thunder. And this time, Russ was the one struggling to make things happen, finishing with only nine points on 18% shooting. Well, well, well. How the turntables. But the kid from Slovenia was far from finished with his revenge tour, because just one year later, Luka leveled up again. He's averaging almost 118 a game, and off a turn. Ready. Ooh. Step back foul. Step back three again. Luka. Yeah. Home stand, gentlemen. Four wins as Luka watches and hits. And it's Luka. He slipped around hard. Out there with three fouls. And he was yeah. Slowly gone down. Luka. Hey. Luka. Ball. And Luka takes it right to the basket again. Luka back into the game and driving inside. And Hart runs it in two defenders, lost the ball. Luka picked it up, trying to beat everyone down the floor, and it will stay in the court. Luka again on the end. He's got Ben McLemore trying to catch him from behind. And will the basket count? In just their fourth ever matchup, Luka Doncic dropped a 40-point double-double on Westbrook in a double-digit blowout, a game that no one could have predicted in 2016. The kid who couldn't keep up with the league's MVP, now looking like the league MVP, balling on the man he couldn't stop just three years ago. In Russell Westbrook's prolific 12-year NBA career, in the 966 total career games Russ has played in, Luka's 41-point bomb is the 10th highest scoring total any guard has ever scored against Westbrook and his team. And it only took him three years to rise to the occasion. But Luka is not the first player to meet and play against an NBA star long before he stepped foot in the NBA. Back in 2013, a 16-year-old Devin Booker challenged a prime Andre Iguodala to a friendly match of 21. At the time, Booker was ranked as the 18th best recruit in the country within his class and just wrapped up his junior year in high school. Andre Iguodala was an NBA All-Star. So, of course, Booker is playing it cool. But the kid was eager to show off his bag. Immediately, Booker gets into his moves and hits Iguodala with a few jumpers. Now, Iggy is guarding Book as if he doesn't want to break a sweat in his polo. But as Booker begins to hit more shots, it becomes clear that Iggy's competitive nature is kicking in. 
And in a matter of minutes, Iguodala shows Devin Booker that even as a top recruit, there is a monumental gap between him and an NBA vet. Boy, if you don't... Good. 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 He's heating up! Oh my god. Oh my god, he on X Games mode. So an NBA All-Star cooked a 16-year-old. No real surprise here. But not even Devin Booker could predict what was to follow for the next seven years. Because after getting drafted to the NBA less than two years after this one-on-one, -on -one, Devin Booker would go on to outplay Andre Iguodala in seven of their nine matchups, including one of the best games in his early career. His left hand to his body. Devin Booker. Booker turning the corner. We got the switch with Cousins stepping out, stepping back. Booker. This is going to be tough stuff here. Booker. Booker. In the final five minutes. Booker. Again. Booker for three. And now 25 and 7. Uber with the steal. Up ahead to eight. Back to Booker. In just their eighth ever matchup, Devin Booker dropped a 37-point triple-double on Iguodala and the Warriors. One of many reminders that he had evolved from the young, inexperienced 16-year-old that got worked by the former All-Star. But no up-and-coming talent met more NBA players growing up than Trey Young. Throughout his teenage years, Trey had the pleasure of meeting the NBA's best players time and time again, like Kyrie Irving who he dropped 26 points on as a rookie. And Damian Lillard, who he snapped his picture with back in 2013, and then outscored him with a 35-point game in his second season in the league. Here's a picture of Baby Trey with Blake Griffin, who he dropped 30 points on as a 20-year-old. And then there's this throwback of Trey Young with Julius Randle. Now, Julius and Trey do not guard each other when their teams play. But to say that Trey torches Randall and company every time they play each other would be a massive understatement. Because this season, Trey scored 41 points on Randall and his squad. Wait, did I say scored? I meant to say Trey Young averaged 41 points on Randall and his squad. 41 points per game. The small, unintimidating child who just wanted a picture with Julius has now spent the last two seasons treating him and his team like the local YMCA club team. This is unbelievable. If you told Julius Randle five years ago that the kid who asked for a picture with him would average a 40 piece on him, he would assume that you escaped from some insane asylum. And so would I. But although the odds are slim, someone out there is bound to become the next NBA star. It may be someone watching this video right now, but the odds of them getting the opportunity to meet and even play against their future opponents years before they even become an NBA prospect and then go on to give these players buckets is extremely unlikely. A kid from halfway across the world, a 16-year-old high school junior, and a severely undersized point guard who felt lucky enough just to snag some pictures. You truly never know who's next up. Hope you all enjoyed, and as always, until next time.